Hello again, Doran Markowitz here from D Guitars Miami with another edition of This Week in Cool Custom Guitar Modifications. This week's particular instrument is a very cool Wandre hollow body made by Eastwood Guitars that the client brought me because he wanted me to hot rod this. Uh, basically he wanted me to remove the original pick guard and single pickup assembly and craft something really cool using a pair of old 60's Tesco gold foil pickups volume and tone and pickup selection now I didn't want to drill additional holes in this guitar in order to have the the new control sitting in it so what I did was I did basically a double decker design similar to like a Rickenbacker guitar where the pickups are mounted on this one plate and the controls are mounted on this other one that is screwed very solidly to the the bottom plate using blocks of wood and so forth and basically you've got 250k volume 250k tone really cool chicken head knobs and three-way mini toggle switch and if you look in between you can see everything sits very nicely everything is very compact it's it it's very secure um, and it's very solid plus because of the way the angle is it's perfect for uh, having your hands sit on the pick guard while while playing. It's strung with tens, it's tuned down to E flat. And uh, another thing that I also did was once I found where the ideal intonation spot was, I secured the bridge base using double sided carpet tape all along the length of it. The reason is very simple. The bridge likes to slide around. So that in that affects the intonation drastically. I tightened up the tuners um, and I did a full setup on it. The guitar plays beautifully. It sounds great. Here's the bridge pickup. Here's the neck pickup. Even though they're both wired correctly and they were only two conductor with out a choice of orientation, they're out of phase. There was no way for me to counter that without opening the pickups themselves and potentially damaging them. So I wired it as so. It's not bad sounding, it sounds like the old Telecaster type wire. a different color to it. I mean, it would have been better if it could have been in phase, but that's just me, so. But it's a very nice guitar. It's got a gorgeous color scheme to it. I mean, this blue is just, it's really something. And these, uh, these sound holes with the grating on them, very, very cool. I think he's going to be very pleased overall. Um, plays beautifully, it's got really nice medium low action, doesn't buzz, I mean it's a very fluid neck, and it's very bend friendly, if I put on a little crutch, It's really, really cool. Keep in mind, I'm playing through a Gorilla right now using its tube stack setting. So you're not exactly getting nice, fat Marshall tube grit, but still. If I roll off the tone.
cleans up nicely. You get the idea. This is a very, very neat guitar. Like I said, I think Joe's going to be very pleased with it. So, okay, until next time, if you have an instrument that uh, you would like to modify in any type of an outlandish way or um, needs some sort of restoration or repair, such, a, such as a broken headstock or fretwork or electronics, finish work, whatever, or if you have a project in mind that you would like to have built, don't hesitate to give me a call at 305-896-1811. Until next time, Dorn Markowitz from D-Guitars Miami. Thanks for watching and have a great day.